everybody, Punisher88 here, coming at you once again with another Thursday review. So today I'm reviewing The Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows issue number one. So, for those of you who watch my reviews, you guys know that I like to start with the cover first. So let's check it out. Now right off the bat, yeah, I love this cover because right away when you look at it, the first book you think of is the um, Amazing Spider-Man Annual. I think it's 21, the the wedding the wedding book between uh, Peter Parker and Mary Jane, and uh, I love how they used parts of that on this book. So uh, right away I was hooked. And then of course we have Adam Kubert doing the artwork and. Adam Kubert's awesome. So uh yeah. So right right off the bat from the cover alone, this book's batting a thousand. So now it's time to get down to what I like to call the nitty gritty. But first, before I get to that, I just want to mention to more of the um newer viewers or newer subscribers to my channel, uh, and that is if at any time during this review or uh, my previous reviews. If you guys notice that I look up and down at the camera quite a bit, or it just sounds like I'm reading to you guys, the reason for that is I keep my notes in front of me. Why do I keep my notes in front of me? Well, for starters, with the notes, I find it helps the review flow a lot smoother compared to my early reviews where I used to wing it the whole time and I used to be very, you know, all over the place. I was repeating myself constantly and just, it was a mess. And you guys are more than welcome to go check out some of my early reviews, but you've been warned. Uh, the second reason why I keep my notes in front of me is let's say I'm reading a certain part and I get stuck. Well then from where, where I, I'm stuck at, I can backtrack and then keep going. And the third reason why I keep my notes in front of me are basically because I was never one for memorizing text. So therefore, the notes are actually a help aid. So if you guys are cool with that, awesome. We'll get through this review, and we'll be on our merry way. So I'm going to give you guys the good, I'm going to give you the bad, and then I'm going to give you my verdict. Alrighty? So first off, the good. Um, basically, this issue... And series is a little bittersweet. Uh, the Secret Wars side books are are great in allowing certain time periods and story arcs to be further explored and fleshed out. Uh, with Renew Your Vows, we get to see a world where Peter and Mary Jane are still married, but we're also reminded that their marriage was wiped out before. Uh, Dan Slott gives us an interesting look at what life is like for Peter trying to juggle being a father as well as a crime fighter. Uh, he now has the added responsibility of keeping the city safe and is now at the point where he has to be careful what is said or done around their daughter. Uh, those that are concerned can relax in knowing that this isn't just, you know, 20 plus pages of diaper talk. Uh, it's a great look at how things could have gone. Because this is a Spider-Man comic, you know it's not going to be a perfect life. Slot gives us a new threat with a debut of Regent, along with some other foes from Spidey's past to deal with. Uh, the action and the stakes are increased. There's something about, you know, Family Man, Spider-Man, where it feels like uh, the threats are a bigger deal. Uh, this won't be a story where Spider-Man and family will, you know, hold hands and walk through the park without a care in the world. Uh, this isn't just a story to appease fans clamoring for the marriage to return. Uh, let's see. With Adam Kuber on art, you know what to expect. His art always amazes. We get 
a great mix between talking scenes and ones with you know heavy action and John Dell's inks and Justin Ponsor's colors really give it all a nice clean feel also the idea to give um, uh, Spider-Man, I'll say, uh, Spider-Man's daughter, uh, a name different from uh, the MC2 Spider-Girls, uh, was a really good one in my opinion, because this would have changed that character's origin, which would have been completely unnecessary. Now for the bad. Uh, from the very beginning, you can feel that this is basically a what-if story. That doesn't take away from the enjoyment though. Uh, you can feel some of the constraints in the number of issues allotted for the story and you know things progress rather suddenly giving the overall vibe a complete shift. Uh, it's clear the second issue will now have a different tone and um, there's also that what if feeling of uh, that worst that could happen may just be around the corner. Uh, what's interesting is this doesn't feel like it's in a battle world territory and if the residents are aware of the big picture. Now for the verdict. Uh, the moment many have wanted and waited for is here. Uh, Peter Parker and Mary Jane are once again married. Sure, it's in a Secret Wars battle world region, but we get to see what married life is like for the two along with how they're raising their daughter. Slot takes the theme of responsibility to a new level now that Peter is a family man. Uh, the story does have a slight sudden pace but that is likely necessary due to the constraints of the size of the stories. Adam Kubert's pencils and Justin Ponce's colors make this book uh, as great as we could hope. Spider-Man's world is often plagued um, by bad luck, but let's hope this turns out to be a great experience for the characters and readers. So there you have it, folks. There's your Thursday review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Uh, if I do get a thumbs down, that just means i got to work harder on trying to please you guys. Uh, also, if you like reviews like this one, take a look around my channel. I got plenty of them. Also, if you're into unboxings and backstories on lame comic book characters, I got tons of that as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just got finished um, doing or recording and uploading uh, the lame supervillain of the week uh, for this week, uh, even though I mentioned it was a day late. I still did it, and um, so yeah, so go check that out as well, and uh, once all is said and done, once you're done checking around, checking around my channel, once you're done commenting on anything, uh, or you know, liking and disliking and whatnot, make sure to click that subscribe button, so anyway, I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible, so with that being said, um, I'll see you guys on Saturday for the weekend review, or maybe I'll try and fit in, um, finally the top 50 comics tag response. Uh, I, I mentioned a couple days ago that I was, well, I mentioned it on Twitter that, um, I don't know how many times I tried doing it and doing it and it just wasn't working. So I gave up, but um, yeah, pr probably this week I'll, I'll I'll try again and do it. So so stay tuned for that, and um, yeah, that's about it. So till next time, folks. Uh, this is Punisher eighty eight signing off. See ya.